Hate Church Family, one of my favorite quotes is from Charles Spurgeon when he said, the most important daily habit we can possess is to remind ourselves of the gospel. I don't know about you, but I definitely need to be reminded of the gospel every day, and it can be easy to go throughout the day with maybe not even thinking about the gospel. And so in light of that, our scripture for the day is Romans chapter 5, verses 6 through 10, which says, For while we were still weak, at the right time Christ died for the ungodly. For one will scarcely die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person one would dare to even die. But God shows his love for us, and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Since therefore... We have now been justified by his blood. Much more shall we be saved by him from the wrath of God. For if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more now that we are reconciled, shall we be saved by his life. More than that, we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. I love this passage because it's such a clear and simple explanation of the gospel. It teaches us several key aspects of what the gospel is. It teaches us that we um, are weak without Christ, meaning that we cannot earn our salvation. It teaches us that Christ had to die in order to forgive us of our sins. Um, it teaches us that when we believe in Christ, we are justified, meaning we are declared righteous by God. And not only that, but we are also saved from the wrath of God when we believe in him, which is the just penalty for our sins. And then lastly, not only are we justified and saved from God's wrath, but we are also reconciled to God, meaning that we now have a relationship with God. We were once enemies of God, and now we've become children of God. I hope you take these truths to heart. They are, um, in a very simple way, the essential aspects of the gospel. Um, I hope that you um, realize today that you need the gospel today just as much as you did the first day you believed. And so may you take this passage to heart, may you be reminded of the gospel, and may this passage help you to explain the gospel to others as well. We'll see you next time.